My name is Scott David. I'm here today to talk about some of the challenges of traditional IP law being applied in the digital age. Challenges are challenges of access, enforcement, and scale, and that's mainly due to the fact that intellectual property laws were developed for, as solutions for earlier problems. But the complexity today is yielding a number of problems, again, the problems of access and scale and enforcement, that are really symptoms of an underlying illness. And the underlying illness is the complexity itself. Fortunately, the complexity of the digital age is also a source of solutions in the digital age. The technologies of the digital age let us see, plan, and act together. With regard to seeing together, we can use big data and other insights offered by digital technologies to allow us to gain insights into what some of the fundamental issues are in our challenges. Some of that work has already started in the law by comparative research being done to compare traditional intellectual property systems in order to identify some of the commonalities and similarities among different IP law. That mapping then lets us move on to planning. The idea of planning is that we can move together and harmonize laws in order to make the laws work more effectively together. The harmonization of intellectual property laws across jurisdictions will allow for lowering of costs of access to markets and also the expansion of potential markets for IP players. After we've seen and planned, we can then act together. What the digital age has rendered intellectual property more ubiquitous. The notion of property that underlies intellectual property is a concept of scarcity and a concept of limitation. The technologies of the digital age have made intellectual property-based assets more ubiquitously available which means that scarcity is no longer reflective of what's going on in the intellectual property world. In fact, they've become so ubiquitous that they're becoming more like air and water. And if you think about how those things are managed, it's really a co-management regimes that are applied. And some of that work has started now in exploring new ways to expand traditional intellectual property to be applied more in a co-management kind of arrangement and also with respect to the assets that are not currently covered by intellectual property regimes such as data, perhaps being co-managed from the start, much like water is co-managed in a river or fish are co-managed in a fishery. These provide opportunities for fairness and balance in terms of the application of intellectual property to avoid some of the challenges that have occurred as a result of bringing traditional intellectual property laws into the future.